What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at some of my recommended players for V3.2. So maybe you haven't been playing the game that long, you have a bit of GP and you're looking to spend it, and maybe you're just completely overwhelmed by all the boosters and all the shiny cards and the coins because they are kind of pushed to the forefront of the Dream Team experience with all the boosters and all the legends, the epics, and obviously it can be fun to play with those, but you can still have a really nice free-to-play experience, which I've done on my Road to Glory, I've done on my other profile that I've been playing on. You can check out a lot of my videos. I've probably done about 50 videos for the free-to-play player and probably multiple more for squad builders and stuff like that. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. And as I said, even the trailers, lads, there's a lot of new cards being thrown at you. You can get overwhelmed with the just sheer amount of cards that are there and feel like you just can't even compete, right? So I'm going to give you a list of some players that are tried, trued, and tested. Trued? Yeah. Tried, true, and tested, okay? So we're going to go back out here. We're going to ignore all of that stuff. We're going to ignore all the contract stuff. All we're going to do is we're going to go in one by one, and I'm going to show you exactly what players to sign if you have a couple of GP, right? So we're going to start with going to standard player list. And again, this is kind of for newcomers, um, but if you are looking for a couple of really good key squad additions, or maybe you're just, you know, haven't played the game in a while and you've re-downloaded it, or maybe it's been a while since you've actually started to build a squad and you feel like you want to take a run at divisions again, right? These players will definitely not let you down, even if they're not 105 overall boosters, okay? Um, so the first player that we're going to look at here is going to be Rafael Guerrero. This guy is an absolute beast, lads. He can play multiple positions. He can do everything on the pitch that you could possibly want. I really personally love this card. I've played with him quite a lot on my secondary profile. I'm going to give you a quick uh, run through of the card. Look at his player skills there. He's got loads of shooting skills. This guy is playing best as a center midfielder. So that's kind of the build that we've gone for here when we go over to eFootballDB, which is the database one that we use, the database app that we use. Um, and you've got insane stats there. I mean, look, a lot of these cards will be able to compete with the legends you know i really do do feel that unless you've got a player that's like 100 in like multiple stats or 95 in multiple stats you're not going to see a real difference between a player that has got like 87 88 in dribbling compared to like 94 95 it's not really um that much of a big difference seen as the game is very animation based and you know very balanced that way um to be able to let everybody pass shoot and score goals you know what i mean so like every player can pass every player can shoot every player can tackle um obviously the stats the higher the stats the more consistent that they are so that's just a training guide you can see on the left hand of the screen here i'm going to keep this video short and sweet next up we do have one of my favorite players in the game and that is as i said i'm going to take this just go straight through how to search how to everything so if this video is a little bit slow for you i do apologize but we are next going into paris Saint-Germain, and we're going to donnarumma 170,000 gp this guy is insane he's on e rating at the moment right but he does have a really nice card i actually really like this card uh from donna um look 170,000 gp isn't a lot when you do start to grind um he's got long throw or yeah long throw and low punt and this is the build that we've gone for with him so we've essentially just popped 11 into goalkeepers down on the left hand side screen there 11 into goalkeeper one uh eight into goalkeeper two and then of course nine into goalkeeper three with aerial strength at two he's a giant of a man now i will say that no matter what goalkeeper that you have you're going to concede so don't worry too much if you are conceding a lot of goals it just happens it just happens because of the way the game is and the fact that the game the, you know it really rewards attack and play other than defensive play right now next up we have one of the all-time i think he's one of the all-time kind of hidden gems for new players because a lot of people that um are new to the game probably don't know about him unless they see a video or whatever because he doesn't even have a club right so we are going to be going in to south america we're going to be going into colombia and we're going to be going for a dmf called barrios wilmar barrios absolute beast this guy first rose to prominence back in pez 2021 so it's about three years ago now he's got a wavering form he's down as an anchorman one of the best play styles in the game his stats are off the chart as well interception blocker sliding tackle but he's also got double touch and one touch pass which is insane for defensive minded player and again that's the build that we've gone with there so seven four seven ten four ten starting with passing ending with defending 
insane. Look at the defensive stats. Look at the speed and the acceleration and the stamina, the balance, the low pass. The only thing he's weak on is carrying the ball. But to be honest, you'll just want to get rid of the ball as soon as you get it with this guy or any defensive-minded player. We also have Timber, who's up next. Now, Timber is going to be a guy um, that we take a look at a little bit more in detail if you are starting off a road to glory. Him and Kunde are really, really solid, very simple to use players. Timber is only 70,000 GP, as far as I know. Um, he's a monster. He's got one-touch pass. He's got really nice player skills. He can play as a CB or a right back. Excellent pace, power, and defensive capabilities at the back. Him and Kunde are very, very alike, except that Timber is 100,000 less um, comparing him to uh, Kunde, right? So Timber is going to be your kind of budget option, I suppose, um, to say it that way, right? Sticking with the GP players, we will have a couple of players towards the end of this video that we want to go into, but sticking with the GP players, we are going to be going over to Leeds, and Leeds are in Division 2 here. And we're going to be going to Ananto. So this guy is just pure power, lads. Pure power, pace, and speed. As you see there, we don't even need to do a training guide on this guy, lads, because you know what you're going to be getting with him, man. Double touch, flip flap, and soul control means that you'll be able to do ball roll, um, which is, you know, a very, very, very smooth and silky uh, variation of the double touch. Obviously, the double touch is going to be very important if you are learning the mechanics of the game. But this guy has got super sub, and he goes to 99 speed and acceleration, or close to that with the manager boost, if you want to. Now, he can't really shoot. I will say that. He can't really shoot. He's not going to be a player that you kind of light it up with. Um, but his dribbling can go into the mid 80s and his pace is going to be going into the 90s so that's all you want from him bring him on with 25 30 minutes to go um, and you will you will have an absolute monster right now we're going to be heading over and leaving the gp players behind us okay and we are going to be going to the special player list we're not going to be going into the coins you can buy all these for you know actual real life money we are going to be going over here to the in-game nominating contracts right so the first player i'm going to recommend you guys to get if you are a newcomer, you can sign any of these players for free after playing 15 matches across any mode, right? So Hamina is, is a guy that we are going to be going for here. He's one of our top picks. This guy is arguably like a free version of uh, Legend uh, Puyol, lads. He's unbelievable. I've done a video where I've compared Puyol to Hamina's. Hamina's actually like performs very similar to him. Similar height, weight, strength, movement on the pitch. Hamina's is an absolute tank. He's a beast. One of the best players that they have released for free. He's down as a destroyer. And he's so good, lads. He's got every player skill that you could want as a defender. Don't worry too much about his D rating because he, do, he does have unwavering form. We're also going to take a look at Dela Cruz, right? So Dela Cruz is another player. If you do have your center back partnership sorted or you've got lucky and you've spun a few legends or whatever, I would say that Dela Cruz falls into that box as well where he's just an absolute beast center midfielder box to box. Really good defensively but arguably better going forward. So that is a second pick from that box there. The Bruyne is a little bit too slow, um, and I would say that El Shah isn't worth the five-star, to be honest with you, right? Next up, we're going to be going into the Japanese selection. Now, as you go through the game, you will probably start to acquire and accrue a lot of three and four stars, right? So the guy that we've gone for here is going to be a three-star right midfielder. Not the best card, but it goes better than actually wasting, you know, a three star, right? So we're actually going to sign him for the three star there as we do it in real time. Really solid player, really, really good. Can play multiple positions and a nice solid card for three stars um, for your three star co nominating contract. Because it can be hard to shift that three star nominating contract. You, you just find it hard to get players like that that are going to make it, make use for you, right? And then we do have the Brazilian selection here as well. And we've gone for Raniel. So this guy, or Raniel, or Raniel, I think it's Raniel. This guy is an absolute beast as well. Destroyer, DMF. Look, for a four-star, you're not going to be getting the best in the business type cards. You're just not. It's just not possible. But we are going to sign him as well. He is a destroyer. He's got blocker, interception, area superiority. And he's got a really nice player ID in the game. I have used him multiple times on my Xbox profile. And this card, I'm looking forward to trying out on the PS5. But trust me, he will be an absolute monster for you. So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. We do have one more if you wanted to as well. There is one more in the Brazilian, just as a bit of a bonus here as well. Um, is this guy Paulo Henrique. If you do not want to get that three star for the, the J-League one, right? Say you're trying to do these because you can use these players for events as well and, you know, amass more points more easily. Um, this guy and more quickly and more effectively, 
Paulo is a very, very, very solid right back. He's an attacking right back. Very good speed. He's just an average player, but he's got blocker and pinpoint crossing. And uh, that's enough for me to have him as a unique player, especially as a three star. Uh, you're not going to get much more bang for your buck than that. So that is it, lads, for me. Just 10 players plus one um, to sign. If you are staying a free-to-play player for GP and for in-game earning contracts. And, of course, we have to finish us off last but not least. I nearly forgot, lads. I'll be honest with you. I nearly forgot. We have our top pick, which is going to be for the eFootball points, right? So you can mass these as well quite easily. There's your strip that you can buy for 5,000 GP uh, points if you want to. But this is the guy that we're going to be going for, lads. It is going to be Fermin from Barcelona. I have done a full review on him. I'm telling you, lads, this guy is an insane uh, hole player, right? I know a lot of people will sleep on him, but I think the people that are going to sleep on him are, have already got a stacked squad, you know what I mean? But if you are starting off, you can't go much better than this. He is basically like Pedri and Gabby combined for free. So absolutely brilliant player, trains up really, really nice as well. And uh, yeah, I definitely think he's worth it. If you have a look here at his uh, his card here, there is Fermin trained up, there is Jimenez trained up, absolutely insane cards so yeah that should cover everything lads 10 players or 11 players in 11 minutes but uh yeah that's it for me lads don't forget to subscribe to like and subscribe on the channel and uh, if you want more of this type of content let me know and i will get on it peace